This is Ginny Sarasvati on Bent TV, entirely powered by Ginny. It's my absolute honour to bring you to... Uh, bring you these next guests. I've been following these boys in this campaign for about five years now since its inception. Uh, Proposition 8 when it was passed in 2008 banned same-sex marriage and then the No Hate campaign was born. Now since then this campaign has turned into an absolute worldwide phenomenon. People like Jane Lynch, the Kardashians, Ricky Martin, Mel B all have posed for it and here with me now live are the boys from the No Hate campaign, the co-founders Adam Busker and Jeff Parshley. Hello boys. How's it going? Hey, it's, uh... it's been a while since I've seen you <laughs> Because uh, last time we caught up, I was actually in LA in your first studio in uh, North Hollywood. But since then, you guys have grown into this absolute global phenomenon. Tell me, what's it been like? It started out in your own living room with Jeff painting No Hate on his face and putting it on MySpace. Now it's like global with over 33,000 photos. What's it been like for you guys? Um, it's really been overwhelming just to see everyone get involved. I mean, in our first year, we maybe had two, 300 faces, but now we're proud to say we have over 30,000 people who support the No Hate campaign with over 50,000 photos. So um, it's, it's extremely grown uh, since its inception. Originally, when we started the No Hate campaign, we started it in direct response to the passage of Proposition 8. But um, it's really become the community's project as they've taken it on to be their own and uh, really expanded it to really just share their own stories. I mean, it uh, started in direct response to passage, the passage of Proposition 8, which banned same-sex marriage, but it's going to speak out to all forms of discrimination. Well, like I said before, when I met you guys, you had a little studio in North Hollywood. Now you have, like, your own headquarters. You've upgraded twice. Now you're in, what, Burbank, California? Yeah, we just opened our new headquarters over in Burbank. Uh, it's somewhere that we could actually uh, invite the public to come and do the photo shoots uh, at our headquarters. We have a, a room set up for we can create PSAs on the spot. We have a resource room. So uh, it's just, it's just uh, kind of growing into something more than we ever expected it would. 33,000 photos later, did you ever think when after your initial people posed, I remember when I first saw the campaign, it was people like Peter Page from Queer as Folk, Jay Rodriguez from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, like to get people like Jane Lynch, Paris Hilton, did you ever think that would ever happen? Um, it just goes to show that everyone has a reason to get involved, whether you're gay, straight, black or white, everyone has a reason to pose and whether you're a celebrity or not, you have influence. Um, and that's what really... Uh, takes on to be the, th the success behind the campaign is that so many different individuals have come forth to share their stories and use these photos on social media to share the message. So out of the 50 states in America, I believe you shot at 45. Are you targeting the other five to be uh, doing a shoot at? Yeah, we're actually scheduled to be in Kansas, which is one of the five. So uh, once we finish that shoot, we'll have been to 46. Wow. Um, but, you know, we're doing the, the best we can to get as many places as we possibly can. Uh, the No Hate campaign is a small crew of only four of us, Adam and I being two of them. So, uh, you know, we're just doing as much as we can, as often as we can. And it's important for people to know that if they can't make it out to one of our photo shoots, that we do have an app on the iTunes store that's free for people to download and essentially take their own photo from anywhere in the world. So you've been to Tel Aviv, you've been to Cape Town, you've been to Ireland. You're here in Australia, so welcome, first of all. So uh, what's Australia been like for you? It's been a little bit crazy from the photos that I've seen. It's been a great response for the campaign so far. Uh, you know, in other countries, uh, the No Hate campaign wasn't quite as known. Uh, but I feel like since the beginning of the campaign, that the support coming out of Australia has always been very, very strong. So uh, it's great to come, actually be able to come here and do something official here with the community here in Melbourne and in Sydney and just to get the people involved and hopefully, you know, we can create some activists before we leave. Now, speaking of your No Hate app, because there's uh, so many people who want to participate in the campaign, obviously you guys can't get there. What kind of, is that why you created that app? Can you put the No Hate tattoo anywhere that you want? Yeah, the Nohe uh, app is for the iPhone, uh, and it's uh, connected to the camera, so you can take your photo, and then uh, you can uh, drag the Nohe up over your cheek and put the tape on, and it, uh, there's an option to upload it directly to the Nohe campaign website uh, section, which is uh, the My Nohe photo, which is submitted photos from all across the world. Great. Well, you were targeting Kylie Minogue coming down here. The uh, pop princess hasn't replied yet, but who knows? She might rock up on, on Mon a Saturday. Uh, she might make a guest appearance because she's from Melbourne. Uh, who else have you targeted here in Australia? Um, well, right now, um, we heard Dolly Parton was in town. She's on tour, so we thought we'd put an ask out. She's a huge supporter of the community. Um, but again, it's really important for um, the everyday person, individuals, to get involved because there might be um, celebrities that come forth, but again, majority of this campaign is spearheaded by those individuals, and we really couldn't do it without them coming forward to support. 
Well, you've got over 400 people RSVP to the Melbourne shoot. It's going to be set to be an awesome landmark event here for Melbourne as well because Melbourne's really getting behind you boys. Is there any city in Australia you want to visit next time you're here if you do get here next time? I mean, it's just really important for us to get as many places as we can. Um, you know, we tried to make the most out of this trip by doing Sydney and Melbourne, so maybe next time we can do, you know, a couple other cities. But, I mean, it's just, it, it's the same as the United States. It, the, the message of no hate is needed everywhere, and we intend to take it as many places as we can. And maybe Brisbane, maybe Perth, who knows? We need to go all over Australia. Your geography is very good at it, I have <laughs> to say. So you boys have shot over 33,000 people. That's included Congress people, celebrities, members of the community. So that must have been quite a few shoots. Have you, has anything interesting happened on the shoots that you could tell us about? Um, it's hard to narrow it down because the cool experience is being able to shoot such a diverse group of people. But um, it was a fun experience to go to the set of Glee to shoot Jane Lynch. Um, when we got to go over to Fran Jesher's house to photograph her, or Larry King um, at his home as well. Um, each individual, again, brings something so different to it, so it's fun to kind of see what they have to bring. So you photograph different people at different places. When you get Congress people involved in America, that's quite a big statement. Yeah, I think it's important to show the community that the lawmakers and the people that are making the laws and passing the laws are, are people that are on our side, and we want to let people know of their stance. Uh, uh, of the matter of you know equality so that we can keep people like that you know around and hopefully you know the, they're helping us forward uh, the marriage equality absolutely like adam was saying before this this campaign's grown into so much more than marriage equality it's been anti-discrimination and and against all hate really i mean that's just phenomenal it's, it's just branched out that way and like you said it's it's uh, attributed to the people who have posed for it going further like when the no hate campaign pretty much photographs every gay celebrity that you can get have you tried to get ellen um, we've tried. If we put our asks out there, we um, would like to see Ellen. We'd like to see Barack Obama. We'd love to see Oprah. Anyone with influence, um, we'd love to see spread the message of no hate. It's something that it's easy to support, easy to get behind, and it only takes a few minutes. Absolutely. Well, in Sydney, you photographed Clover Moore, which was a pretty good landmark. She's been a great supporter of the community, and also she's the Lord Mayor of Sydney. We're trying to get Robert Doyle down to the shoot, so that should be really interesting. You've had a lot of political support, I've seen, and um, you're releasing some photos on Valentine's Day, I believe, Jeff, of some Senate members? Yeah, we're going to do... Uh, uh, we did uh, another trip to the Washington, D.C., to the Capitol Hill, and we got uh, five new senators and a few new Congress members to post for the campaign, so we're going to release those on uh, on Valentine's Day. And I think that to add to what Adam said, it's, uh, that it's important to um, not only get, and like what you said, gay celebrities, we need straight celebrities. We need the people that are supportive of mar marriage equality that maybe aren't as vocal. People like when Cindy McCain did her photo, you know, she's the, the wife of Senator John McCain, who's very much against marriage equality and, and was very much for Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Um, so when she spoke out uh, and made her stance known that she was a supporter of marriage equality, I think it opened a lot of people's eyes in the Republican world uh, to show that it's not a party issue and it's something that, you know, something that anybody can support. So the No Hate campaign is a campaign for everybody. It's open to all ages. If you can't get to any of their shoots, make sure you check out their app. You can download it on iTunes for free and check out nohatecampaign.com. This has been Ginny on Bent TV signing off.